Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Alyssa Milano expressed her condolences after the death of her frenemy and former Charmed co-star Shannon Doherty. It's no secret that Shannon and I had a complicated relationship, but at its core was someone I deeply respected and was in awe of, the 51-year-old said in a statement to our channel Sunday. She was a talented actress, beloved by many, and the world is less without her. My condolences to all who loved her. Both actresses starred in Charmed alongside Holly Marie Combs for its first three seasons after it premiered in 1998. Doherty left the show when her character, Prue Hallowell, was killed off during the season three finale. She was later replaced with Rose McGowan, who played Milano and Combs' long-lost half-sister. During a December 2023 episode of Doherty's Let's Be Clear podcast, she and Combs, 50, claimed Milano pressured producers to fire her by threatening to sue for a hostile workplace environment. Milano addressed the allegation at Megacon Orlando in February and said the situation made her sad. I am the most sad that a show that has meant so much to so many people has been tarnished by a toxicity that is still to this day almost a quarter of a century later still happening, she told fans. I'm sad that people can't move past it. I'm sad that we all can't just celebrate the success of a show that meant so much to all of us. By clicking above, you agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. However, Doherty doubled down on her claim two days later at the same convention, saying, We told it together. We told our truths and we are standing by our truths. At this point in my life with my health diagnosis, I'm sorry if I start crying, with fighting horrific disease every day of my life. It is also incredibly important to me that the truth actually be told as opposed to the narrative that others put out there for me, she added. Doherty, who was also known for playing Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills, 90210, died at the age of 53 after battling cancer for years. On Saturday, July 13, she lost her battle with cancer after many years of fighting the disease, her longtime publicist, Leslie Sloan, confirmed in a statement to People. The devoted daughter, sister, aunt and friend was surrounded by her loved ones as well as her dog, Bowie. The family asks for their privacy at this time so they can grieve in peace. Doherty was first diagnosed with invasive breast cancer in March 2015, but only made her sickness public when she sued her former business managers for allowing her health insurance to lapse, which prevented her from being able to see a doctor. Following the drama, she regularly updated fans regarding her journey with cancer and in August 2016, predicted she only had five years to live after her cancer had spread to her lymph nodes. The following year, however, the Heather star announced she was in remission. After living cancer-free for a handful of years, she revealed in February 2020 that the cancer had returned and was stage 4. In June 2023, Doherty announced it had metastasized to her brain. By November, she said it spread to her bones. I think I would be afraid of death if I wasn't a good person, but I am, she told people at the time. I'm not afraid of dying, I just don't want to die, like, ever. In April, Doherty confirmed she was preparing for death by going through her belongings and packing up her Tennessee home to make things easier for her mom. My priority at the moment is my mom, she said on her Let's Be Clear podcast at the time. I know it's going to be hard on her if I pass away before her, because it's going to be so hard on her. I want other things to be a lot easier, she added. I don't want her to have a bunch of stuff to deal with. I don't want her to have four storage units filled with furniture. Doherty did not have any kids. She was in the middle of a bitter divorce from Curtis Warienko when she passed.